Hi, I'm Missy, and it's Bill Bauer with BNM Crop Consulting. And today we're in here evaluating some hybrids and I'm trying to understand their ear flags. So we've got uh, these examples pulled out of one of our corn hybrid plots. They're planted at different populations as we go across the field. So that our bottom row here, we have 22,000 20, population. Here we got 32,000 population. And then the top row at 38,000 population. So we really want to understand uh, some of these hybrids that can flex uh, in kernel depth and kernel length. And then the hybrids that are fixed, more of a fixed year, we've got to really uh, understand that to know what we got to do for population. So let's look at a couple of these examples here in the middle. There's a real big difference between this hybrid compared to this one here and its ability to flex or not flex. So if we look at two different hybrids uh, planted at 22,000, um, we've got a, a one that has ability to flex here. Uh, in my left hand and then the one in my right hand here uh, is a lot smaller ear so at 22,000 this isn't going to yield very well but a hybrid like this um, that has ability to flex if we get hurt with uh, early emergence things like that it's still going to produce some yield. And 22,000 isn't something we're going to plant in our fields but in this plot setting we're doing this to strictly just learn about the ear flex side of this. Right. But when we take a look at this example here when we go from 22,000 to 32,000 to 38,000, there's very little difference in the ear size here. So this particular hybrid is a real fixed hybrid. We'd have to really push it with high populations to get it to be maximized as far as its yield goes. Right, we need to push this at 36 to 38,000 depending on the soil type or whether it's irrigated or not to maximize yield. Compared to this one here, where we go from 22 to 32 to 38,000, we really see that this ear size drops when we push this too hard. Right. Probably could be somewhere in the middle there. But very large ears at 32,000, so uh, something in the middle of the road, this is probably the right population for this hybrid. We see that similar with this one down here as well. So as we go from 22,000 to 32 to 38, once I push this too far, this hybrid really pulls itself back. Right. It's you can see that we really affected the length of the ears here. When you compare it to the 22 to the 32, you can see there's not a huge difference in the ear size here, even though I've got 10,000 more ears here. So this one's really important to dial in that population that kind of middle of the road. If we got this too low, we'd really be giving up something too, but we can't push it too high. You can't push it, no, it'll go backwards pretty fast. And then we really get excited about some of these hybrids that have the ability to flex a little bit at the lower side, but compared to 32 and 38,000, now I've got a, a, a hybrid at 38,000 that's really going to maximize yield because I've just added six more thousand ears uh, and hold most of the percentage of the ear kernel size and weight. So, so we're going to have a lot more bushes out there. Again, when we kind of compare and think some of these are definitely more of a fixed type of an ear, some of these are more of a flex right. type of an ear. But it would change, you know, if we're just doing straight rate populations, what we would average in that field. But really this is important when it comes to our variable rate. When we do variable rate, we want to dial in the rates as we go across that field based on these different hybrids. So it's really important uh, to maximize yields and variable rate by knowing which hybrid you got out there and what are the ranges that can really handle in the variable rate. Right, so we've got 19 different hybrids we looked at this year and we've been doing this for, what, four years now? Um, really trying to understand not just one company, but multiple different companies uh, hybrid lineup and really dial in our variable rate populations for our clients. So if you're not thinking about uh, fixed or flexed hybrids and your populations out there, you really need to start working with somebody that's taking a look at this and getting your variable rate population dialed in.